People didn't have any high hopes for this movie, and weirdly enough, when I went to go see it, I was the only one in the theater, and yeah, that says a lot. I'm not gonna front, I never played the video games. I have seen a bit of the gameplay, and for the most part, I at least looked along the cutscenes before going to see this movie, just in case there's a little background information on the characters and the world. So this movie is going to be unbiased for the most part, but at least I'm going to interpret this and just say, okay, this is how I see the movie. The game, I can put that aside since I don't have any actual carry-on from that game. So this is my actual thoughts on the matter. So Cate Blanchett plays his character Lilith, who comes back to Pandora and meets up with a ragtag group of characters to find the key to this vault, which... If I'm being honest with you, okay, simplified story is that. Does the movie do anything better with that? No, not at all. Right out the gate, I gotta just say this. Most of the characters in this movie, they feel like, and I understand some of the fan reactions saying that some of them are a bit miscast, some of them are a bit older, and yeah, they're not wrong with them in this, I gotta agree on them. The majority of the actors in this movie, I like them in other stuff, but for the most part in here, I feel like... They were a bit miscast to the point where I feel like, okay, some of them are a bit older than I realized. And looking at the game aside, I'm like, okay, these characters, with the little experience I know, some of them look like they portray their characters in a certain way, like they're not supposed to be good people. Like, I know each of them seem like, okay, we're a ragtag group of characters. Most of them are scumbags, criminals. And at least I could just say, there are some decent characters in this. Like, Kate Blanchett, it's, her character is okay. Like, I didn't feel too much for Lilith. I feel like I should have since I'm like, okay, she is one of the main characters in the game, but the movie doesn't make it seem like, okay, she's that interesting or at least portrays her in a good manner. Two characters I actually thought in my head, okay, hopefully they're good in the movie, and I was kind of right, but then again, kind of wrong at the same time. Like Kevin Hart plays Roland in this movie, and in the games, I know he's like this giant brute, and I feel like everybody was a bit mad when they casted him because he's like, Kevin Hart is short, he's not tough, he's not menacing, he's not even, I don't even think he's the one who should have been Roland, but I feel like, okay, you could have at least done something with this role. And he does, where he's the serious one, he doesn't take any jokes, he's the one who's actually taking this movie seriously, and if I'm being honest, I feel like, yeah, in a movie full of comedic characters, he's the one who's not telling any jokes and knowing that it's Kevin Hart. It's not, it's kind of weird looking at him be serious. Like, I look at Kevin Hart with a gun and everything being all military action hero, and I still can't take him seriously. Jack Black at least is having fun in this movie as Claptrap. He's the one I feel like, okay, through all the edge the Borderlands games have, I feel like he could have done a lot more, but I feel like this movie limited itself to a PG-13 rating, and for the most part, at least the world and everything in this movie feels a bit more downscaled than what I would see in an actual video game adaptation. Like, if you look at the world of Pandora in the game, the game looks actually good, and the way it stylizes itself into a whole 2D, 3D atmosphere, but in the movie... You see it, and it's like, okay, I'm looking at a green screen, I'm looking at a little city, and for the most part, when, at least when they try to do downscale and walk around the world of Pandora, it's interesting enough since everything is majority of desert, you get to see a bit of the landscape, and some of the environments and little side characters from the game, I'm like, okay, this is a cool world to be in. The thing is, the movie doesn't make it so the world is interesting than it should be. And finding out that this was directed by Eli Roth, who actually did a couple of good horror movies. Some of them are in bitter taste for some people, but I'm like, the last thing I saw him make was Thanksgiving, and I feel like, okay, so how do you go from Thanksgiving to this? Because those two, those two don't feel like the same mind is doing this. And I did hear a bit of the backstory behind this movie, too, because I know this was announced, like, almost 10 years ago, when the second Borderlands was just releasing. And a bit of the miscast and everything was like, okay, this movie's a bit in a production hell. We're going to be holding it back for a bit. This was announced. And then they started filming. And then they had some reshoots with Tim Miller, replacement director, while Eli Roth was doing other stuff. It was announced around nine years ago. I know in the height of Borderlands 2, they thought, okay, we can actually do a video game adaptation of this since everybody was doing it at the time. It's gone through a director. It went through a couple reshoots with a different director with a style and tone. I'm like, okay, we have two different minds in this. But I feel like somebody who would have actually played the games, adapted the story, at least for the first game, and included characters that should have been in that movie, at least not mishmash characters from all three different games and try to make it fit into one story, because I know that some fans don't like the fact that they just made a movie with just random characters and not actually developed the first game. 
But to be honest, most of this movie reminds me of just dollar store Guardians of the Galaxy. Even having a soundtrack that is like, okay, this is early 2000s music. And this is supposed to be somehow the future and all this is like... Yeah, the music and everything is not meshing well as you think it should be. All in all, I didn't have a good time watching this. And if I'm being honest with you, I was the only one in the theater and the TikTok kind of gave it away too. I'm like, yeah, I'm that bored. Every 10 minutes, I'm going to just do some pushes. Let me see if I make it to 100. And that's exactly what I did too. Take your money. Don't go check this one out. And for the most part, I feel like if this was made around the height of Borderlands 2, it would have been fine. At least be like, okay, this is one of the bad video game movies. We know already know since we had a couple at the time. And after having some good video game adaptations, this feels like a big misstep back. If they can try and Resident Evil this movie, like reboot the movie or reboot this franchise into a series or anything like that from a streamer, hopefully it works out fine or at least go the Fallout route. At least try to develop an original story, but at least also include characters from the game. That'd be fine with that, but for the most part, this movie was bad. Don't go check this out, and I have a feeling that, yeah, everybody's gonna try and defend this for some reason and say, oh, this was the best, worst movie of 2024, but I'm like, no, they really just killed the franchise and a beloved game base, because we haven't had a Borderlands game in years, and it's like, okay, after the height of that game, you want to just downscale and just say this property doesn't mean anything anymore. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. All my social media is down in the description below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.